Trent Huey and Max Murney's partnership began in 2016. The pair clicked right from the start by reaching the quarterfinals of the Australian Open in only their second tournament together. I was in the mix of things, uh, actually planning to play with someone else and then didn't work out. And Tread had asked me a few weeks before that. And then when my original plan didn't work out, I was hoping that Tread was still available. I played against him several times. He beat me up, so I was hoping to be on the winning end of, of his team. That's been, a, I think, a good team to sort of match up wise with each other. That's been, they've sort of combined really well. And what Max brings to the table brings something different. One lefty with one of right hand players, it's always tough. And the games uh, complete each other very well. Playing with Max, I mean, he's probably one of the best partners to have. Uh, he's the most positive guy I've played with on the court. Tried to learn everything I can from him, uh, not only in the practice court, but off the court as well. It's great to see Tread do so well. He's a very talented player, and he seems to, um, the experience of Max and, and what he brings to the table is probably the most professional tennis player that's maybe ever existed and so maybe that that's rubbed off on Trey a bit and they seem to, to, to have a great chemistry working hard in practice. I'm just uh, glad that we're able to gel and uh, more importantly off the court. We have a good time uh, eating lunch, hanging out with each other after the matches and I feel like I've learned a lot from him and gotten a lot better this year so that's great. For 20 year tour veteran Max Murney this is a partnership that has re-energized his career. Every new partnership uh, gives, you, gives you a little bit of a, uh, of a jolt of energy and pushes you harder. Being in the position we are in right now and uh, playing the biggest tournaments, staying healthy, you know, it's these little things that make a big difference. And they've won a lot of tight matches. They've been able to come through, battle hard, uh, been very close to losing many times and just being able to find a way to win and that's what good teams do. It's important that we share a common goal and uh, willing to work for it. We both believe that we have trust in each other, so it's, it's a matter of putting the work in and day in and day out, on and off the court, and seeing where it can get us. Max is uh, one of those guys. I mean, he's such a great all-around player. He's to play alongside, he's a great guy, and uh, he's a really enjoyable partner to, to have alongside. He's very positive. Fred is, uh, you know, fortunate in that regard, and also, you know, he's been coming on the last uh, few years. I've had some good results, but obviously it's going to take a few more, and. Uh, that's something we want to do. Uh, we did have some letdowns uh, along the way. You know, it's a matter of how you come back from some of the losses and letdowns, and hopefully we can make it go. A top 10 team in the Emirates ATP rankings, Max and Tred are eager to keep their spot in a very competitive doubles landscape. It's a little more parity, obviously, in doubles, with uh, a lot of the Grand Slams going to uh, new teams of winnings for the first time. but. I mean, so many more people are playing the doubles and focusing on the doubles that, I mean, everybody's done well. It's exciting in doubles where it is quite open in general and, and Trent and Max have been able to, to find something that works for them and I'm sure they'll be hoping to continue all the way to London. You know, these next couple of big tournaments that are coming up are, are very important. A few things that we could certainly do better and uh, that will get us to another level. Uh, hopefully we can stay in the race and keep moving forward. I mean, we uh, believe we can be in there and have a good shot of winning every turn we play, so we just got to go out there and prove it. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, set your alarm for the Shanghai Rolex Masters. And the Emirates ATP Race to London rolls on as the countdown to the O2 continues. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com where you can cast your vote for the atpworldtour.com fans' favourite awards presented by Moet and Shondon. And chat with us on the ATP's official social network, My ATP, now on Vixlet. We'll see you next week.